So the next step, if we're going to do this test with the lady, would be to say, okay, well, if she were selecting cups at random, this is what we'd expect to see, but how many cups did she actually select? The truth, the truth, the lady actually sat down with Fisher and did this. The truth is that she, oops, the truth is that she had all four correct. Okay, she did get all four correct. So what do we conclude? If the lady gets all four correct, should we conclude that she has this skill or not? The way we think about this question from a hypothesis testing framework is to say, Assuming that the lady is guessing at random, assuming that she does not have this ability, the probability she would have gotten four cups correct is only one out of 70. Only one out of 70. Do we find that number surprising? I don't know whether you find it surprising. We get to decide for ourselves whether we find it surprising. This number is called a p-value. That may be a term you've heard before. The p-value is the probability that we'd see data like we actually saw if the truth is that there's nothing going on. Assuming the lady is choosing completely at random, what's the probability she would have gotten all four of them correct just by chance? And here the p-value is one out of 70. And again, we get to decide what to do with that number. One out of 70 is pretty small. I might find it surprising. We'd only see data like this one out of 70 times if she was choosing at random. So perhaps that's evidence against this idea that she was guessing at random. On the other hand, if you don't think 1 out of 70 is that small a number, we might say, well, you know, that would happen at 1 out of 70 times. So perhaps she is guessing at random. Let me change this a little bit. Suppose that the lady picked out four cups and only three of them were correct. Suppose that only three of them were correct. Do we think that that data, that evidence, contradicts this initial assumption that she's guessing at random? I'm going to shade in this bar. And I'm going to shade in this one as well. Because the way we're going to phrase the question is, assuming that the lady was choosing cups at random, what's the probability that she would have gotten at least this many correct? Assuming she was choosing at random, what's the probability she would have been at least this good at the test, right? And here, the probability that the lady chooses at least three cups correctly, if she's guessing at random, is 16 plus 1, it's 17 over 70. Do you find that surprising? It's up to you, right? If we say to you, this event that she gets at least three right would only happen 17 out of 70 trials, if she were guessing at random, does that provide evidence against the assumption she was guessing at random? Only if you think this is a small number. Or you could say, well, you know, if we did this 70 times, we'd see data like this 17 out of 70 times. That's a lot. I don't think that is evidence against this assumption that the lady is guessing at random.